Picture England in the 11th century, a patchwork of petty kingdoms, ripe for the taking. This was an era marked by Viking invasions and the reign of King Edward the Confessor. The political landscape was fraught with tension as the question of succession loomed large. King Edward, known for his piety more than his prowess, left no clear heir to the throne. With King Edward's death in 1066, a power vacuum emerged, setting the stage for a dramatic contest for the throne. Enter William, Duke of Normandy, a man with a claim and an ambition to match. William, a distant cousin of King Edward, believed he had a justified claim to the throne of England. He was a charismatic leader, a man who could rally support from both his Norman subjects and foreign allies. Realising the opportunity, he made the bold decision to invade England. The Battle of Hastings became the pivotal point in this conquest. King Harold, the last Anglo-Saxon King of England, met his end on this battlefield, his reign cut short by an arrow to the eye. On that fateful day, October 14th, 1066, the future of England was forever altered. But what transpired after the smoke of the battlefield cleared? After the dust settled on the battlefield of Hastings, William the Conqueror was crowned King of England on Christmas Day, 1066. He embarked on an ambitious project to control the whole of England, building castles, restructuring governance and imposing Norman law. Over time, the conquest led to significant changes in English society. The Norman influence permeated every aspect of life, from governance and law to culture and language. French words seeped into the English language, enriching it with new words, phrases and concepts. The Norman Conquest, a pivotal event that forever changed the landscape of England, etching a new chapter in its rich historical tapestry.